Whoa, what's up guys? It's me, the Gaming Grape, and I'm back with some more gaming videos on the most craziest, fruitiest gaming channel of all time, the Annoying Orange Gaming Channel! <laughs> so I'm playing this game called Fez today. I know you guys have probably heard of it. It's kind of an old game. It was featured in that movie, uh, the documentary, Indie Gamer. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to play this forever. And so here I am, playing Fez. <laughs> so let's get started. Oh man, this is cool. I'm in outer space. I feel like an opening for Star Trek or Star Wars. <laughs> this is cool. All right. Um, oh, okay. So I guess this is my bedroom or Fez's bedroom. All right. Well, this is pretty cool. I've been seeing it. Oh, okay, press that. Oh, jump. Jump in there, jump in here, jump in everywhere. I'm a jump master, jump king, jumping all around. I'm bling, I'm king, I'm I'm gonna sting. Woo hoo hoo. <laughs> oh gosh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, this is fun. He's just a white blob of a character. Kind of reminds me of just like a white voodoo doll, you know? You think something happens to some really old white guy if you poke him with a stick? Like if you stick needles in them? I don't know. It's a, it's a, a wow. Everyone's wearing hats in this world, and uh, well, except for her, she's just got a hair. It's probably a wig, though. Be honest. Well, that guy doesn't have it. Everyone has their own special features. I see. Well, this is really cool. Yeah, I've been wanting to play this game for. Oh, press. Oh, okay. I guess I'll read. Don't love reading, but I guess I'll do it anyways. Dear Gomez, oh, that must be me. Please meet me out top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is a special day, geezer. Oh, well, that makes sense. It must be an old guy. Um, all right. <laughs> must be an old guy. Let's keep going up. Um, uh, I thought you could turn around in this game. Maybe, maybe I have to get that. Maybe it's like something I have to unlock. Okay. Well, oh, hey, what's going on, little buddy? Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I can, oh in fact, I will. All right. Well, that's cool. Um... I, I know, I know, I heard talking. Maybe I should go over here. Wow, man, the graphics are really cool in this game. It's like, I I just happen to really like 2D platformers. I gotta, I gotta be honest, I, and it's a little secret, but I'll, I'll admit it to you guys first. So consider yourself lucky. <laughs> but I, I really do. I think 2D platforms are like my favorite kind of game to play. Even though I love GTA, and Battle Squadron, I mean Battlefield, and all like some, all the amazing games that are like the huge studio games. But I gotta say, this game is so awesome. Look at the graphics. It's like combination of a really cool 3D world put to a 2D world. Oh man, okay, that's, nothing is in here. Nothing at all. Keep looking. I'm just gonna go, no, 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 no nothing at all. Just gonna go back outside now. Um, well, that's cool. The sky's lit up like, you know, there's actual astrological figurations in the background. Except they look like Tetris figures, which is really cool. Man, I can tell already. This is a video game that is in love with video games, which is a really cool concept. It's like a meta game unto itself. Oh, hey, Gramps, what's going on? I mean, Geezer. <laughs> Adventures is ready. Oh, good, I'm always ready for an adventure. Let's go. Do I have a fedora? Do I have something like Indiana Jones? I gotta get started. There you go. Oh, whoa. What is this? What is this giant 3D cube? What's going on? Oh, this is so cool, man. <laughs> it's like the sun, but only better. <laughs> whoa. I'm blinded by the light. <laughs> whoa, this is crazy. Oh, man. Now what? Woo! It's like some godly presence going to impart some amazing wisdom upon me? Well, I hope so! <laughs> Jeez, I can't understand your garbly goop. What are you talk? What are you saying, Orb? I can't understand you! It's just coming up blah letters! I don't even know, those aren't even real letters. Are those hieroglyphics? Is this like ancient Egypt? What are you doing? Tell me what I need to know, God! Is this what God looks like? A giant gold serrated uh cube. Whoa! Around and around and around and around and around. I'm gonna get dizzy. Oh my god! I'm getting so dizzy. <laughs> Woo! Thank goodness. Calm down. Take a chill pill, cube. Don't freak out. I I still don't understand what you're saying. I cannot understand you. 
Whoa! Man, this is awesome! Ooh, look at all the purple and a per and a dropping a fez. The sky, it's raining fez. Purple rain, purple rain. Give me a fez, purple rain. <laughs> oh, in honor of the great late prince. I miss him so. Went too soon. Anyway, all right. That was awesome. Oh, okay. Press L2. L2 and R2, all right. And I can change, oh, change my first. Oh, whoa, this is so cool. I fit, oh, what's going on? Holy controlly. I've lost control, in fact. What's going on? My TV's gonna explode. I don't know what's happening. Oh, Polytron. Back to the graphics. I mean, the credits. The credits that have graphics. They're graphically credited. Wow. So that was cool. Interesting way to start a game off. I like it. Very, very, very well done. Fez. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm going to go back and I'm going to have the powers, right? Since now the, the game's having multiple strokes at once. That was awesome. Holy crowlies. I got to say, hats off. Hats off, man. That was one of the most mysterious, interesting, adventurous, and spellbinding openings of any video game I think I've ever played. Well done. That's up there with like some really cool Zelda openings. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna go back to my drum set. At least I get to see my entire room now. This is cool. Finally. I was like, what else do I got in here? Ooh. Definitely need to fix the wallpaper on that. I like the lights though, this is very nice. Very aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing to the eye, I love it. And especially that little thing. It looks like an icon you would control on some PC device that uh, eventually is corrected by viruses and crashes your computer. Wonderful. Please do not crash this video game, giant globy thing. Oh, okay, hey, I'm Gomez, that's me. Yeah, I know, something but yeah, obviously, okay. You're a dot? I thought it said he was an idiot. <laughs> Shattered scattered all over the road. Oh, so yeah, you want me to go get all the cubes and the, the shards. Sure, fine, I'll do it. No one else here is going to do it, clearly. All these children over here just walking around doing nothing. Oh, okay, leads to the outside world. Oh, oh I see, I got to collect all the shards. That, oh, well, we, I can do that. I can totally do that. All right, well, let's get started here. Uh... Okay, reach the end of the journey, we'll need to find all the 20, 32, 32 cubes. Oh, okay, I know I gotta leave this place. All right, so I gotta go find the cubes. Let's go find the cubes. Quit with all this texting. Jeez, I've had enough of it. I read this stuff enough. We need more human interaction in this world. Enough of the texting. I know I'm finding them. Jeez, go away, cube. Do I need you? I don't need to recap. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like this is like a floating parent over your head that just keeps reminding you of things. I know, I get it. Jeez. <laughs> Go away, Orby thing. Orby guy. I don't need you. <laughs> Look at how independent I've become. I'm the most independent grape I know. I'm so independent that uh, I, I was there when they signed the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> I've got it mounted on my wall in the back. Oh, all right, come on. Let's go. It'd be really cool if you could stand on those trees, but I understand why. I mean, it's sort of like real life. If you try to stand on a tree, you're just going to fly through the branches. So it's pointless. Absolutely pointless. All right. Um. Yeah, let's just go in a door. Why not? Wasn't invited, but I don't care. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can, like, see out. That's cool. All right. Okay. 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 I understand. I understand. You're just showing me the outside world. Just now get out of there. Whoa. All right. Well, that was really cool. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to climb up here. I'm climbing up the grapevine. It's so great. I think I'll do it again. What would you hear in the grapevine the other day? Oh, that's really interesting, Poindexter. Well, I'm just going to go in here. Hope you don't mind me calling you Poindexter. All right. Open the door. Didn't need a permission. Just broke in. Oh, hey. Pirate man, grandpa, old guy. I feel like I'm taking over from you. 
This is like one of those situations, kind of like Donkey Kong, where you used to be like the lead main character of the game, and now you've gotten old, decrepit, and tired, and now I have to take over your duties? Wow, all right. You uh, have absolutely nothing that I can use in here. So, instead of wasting my time, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> uh, holy grapes, come on. Come on! Oh, look at that, it's a little mouse, that's cool. Huh, hey Mickey, what's going on? How's it feel to be 16-bit? <laughs> Ooh, I like how you spin around for a while and it just makes you dizzy. This game is so cool, guys! Look at this, I'm literally turning the entire world around with my controller! This is so cool! It gives a whole new meaning to like platforming games, I love it, this is awesome! Props off again. I know I said that before, but this is so cool. Okay, so I gotta get the the other shards. Ooh, yeah. All right. Just hiding in a little nook. A nook shard. Nook shard. I love nook shard. Oh, oh. I thought you could stand on that clothesline. Apparently, you can't. I don't know how the clothes are on there, but uh, they are. We have um. Okay, go around that way. I don't know. Let me ask you guys a question. Leave your comments in the comment section below. But uh, if you could, what video game world would you want to live in? This game is so cool and looks so pleasant, and it just got me thinking, wouldn't it be really cool if you could pick any one world, any video game world, and you could live there, which one would it be? Leave it in the comments below. Yeah, just think about it. Like, there's a Minecraft world. All oh, right, I got a key, sorry. I <laughs> just, I'm interrupting myself because I got a key. All right, I'm gonna go find a door and unlock it. I know I have a key. This thing tells me things that I, I already know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, like, uh, I'm just gonna go back so I can find a door with a key now. Um, but yeah, like a Minecraft world, or like, oh, Five Nights at Freddy's world? I don't know why you wanna look. Oh no! <laughs> That's another cool thing about this game is you can't really die, I guess. Well, yeah, like a Five Nights at Freddy's world, although I don't know why you wanna live there, because that'd be really, 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 really scary. Um, uh, Grand Theft Auto world, that'd be really dangerous, but, uh, yeah, think about it. Minecraft, like, there's the Mushroom Kingdom, there's Hyrule from Zelda, there's, there's this world, I mean, there's the Meat Boy world, there's, there's Sonic's world, and Sonic the Hedgehog, there's, um, I mean, the list goes on. Pac-Man's world, which is really blue and kind of full of labyrinths. You probably feel like you're in that David Bowie movie, but, uh, other than that, uh, let me know which worlds you guys would want to live in. I think it'd be a really cool thing. Okay, um... Now I gotta get down. I guess I'm gonna go that way. Um, ah, oh, this is so cool. I just wanna like turn everything around and around and around and around <laughs> and again and again. And the world this character lives in is really pleasant. All right, come on, Gomez, get it. All right. You know I don't feel comfortable calling you Gomez just because the game's called Fez. So I'm just gonna call you Fez. That's so much easier. All right. Plus you're wearing a Fez. So there you go, Fez. <laughs> It's also like the character Fez from that 70s show. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah! Unlock that door, sweet! No, you cannot come in! Don't come in with me, lady! <laughs> Ooh, a map! Yay! It's shining bright! That must be good! Alright! I know I have! You don't need to tell me that! <laughs> Alright! Alright, guys, well, that was really cool. I think I'm gonna end on this note. But uh, if you liked it, uh, like it, duh, and uh, subscribe to the Annoying Orange Gaming channel. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be huge. <laughs> but more importantly, guys, in life, remember to dare to be different. The most important thing is you and you and your individual voice, and you can say anything and accomplish anything you want. But more importantly, dare to be stupid. Stupid is as stupid does. That's what Forrest Gump told me. <laughs> Bye, guys. How got transported to this fantastical magical Oh my god, there's the porkers! There oh jeez, what are these giant wads of bubblegum are just coming to attack me? They have like white wings. Get, get away, bubblegum! <laughs> I'm gonna use my 